Hey y'all, Danny Moon here. Call me what you want, as long as it's respectful. I don't even know what time it is, y'all. It's late. <laughs> I want to say this is not going to be a long video, but I don't know. This is going out to my Virgos. When I ask Spirit to give me your energy, it was good. I heard, um, um, even though you got, even though you got, um, keep, keep, keep rising to the top. And my mom said, even though you got, even though you got, ain't no half stepping. <laughs> ain't no half stepping. <laughs> so I, 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 I definitely feel good vibes. There is some energy that is back there that I can't grab just yet, only because I just sat down. But I'm hoping that um, spirit gives me more. Um, I feel like y'all are focused. I feel almost like tunnel visioned. Whether it's about money, the future, housing, I'm getting like housing. Um, and that could mean anything. Uh, maybe looking for a house. Now I'm getting like bed and breakfast. So let's let's just dive in, Virgos. Let's dive in. I'm getting a little like a back cold. Like I don't know if you know what that like. Ever had a cold in your back? I'm feeling crampy. Yeah, like I know that sounds crazy, y'all. I'm feeling crampy. I don't know how to explain it. I felt like when I went like this, I felt like cramps in my back. But now as I'm saying it, I feel like you might get really bad, uh, like Charlie horses or cramps in your legs, maybe even cramps in your hands, like from carpal tunnel or even in your feet. I don't know. Maybe you get bad um, period cramps. Maybe somebody's maybe the, your period is coming you know if you're a woman um hmm. see it's almost like the 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 energy is very thin right now here we go Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much for being being here. It's like a switch. I just cut the switch on, and it's like messages started seeping through. But it, they, it, they're very thin. So thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much for being here. I ask you to please open up all my senses so I could get accurate messages for the Virgos, please, in all aspects. Please open up the veil to let anyone of love and light come in to give a message and say hello. Um, thank you again. I love you. I love you. I love you. My guides, the Virgos guides, angels, everyone who's watching over this reading. I ask you to uh, talk through me. Let me be a vessel in Jesus' name. Amen. So more to be. So more to be. So more to be. Right, they're showing me, like, I don't want to say a choo-choo train, because this is a real train they're showing me, like, ch -ch 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 with the smoke coming out of it, like, going really quickly. So, again, I feel like you're tunnel visioned. I feel like you know exactly where you want to go, where you want to be, what you want to do. gonna um i don't use this deck a lot but i love it the sacred symbols oracle deck i gotta read a little bit from it but <clears throat> where you going what you doing so right you might as well right spirit talk to me i do feel like this is this is um this is a 32 which is a five so i do feel like change is amongst you virgos um and you know this full this blue moon, the super moon is coming on the nineteenth. So I do feel change is coming, and I do. Feel, I'm telling you, like I feel like the outside 
is like tunnel vision. You know what you want. You know where you're going. You're on the road. You're in school. You're getting certificates. But I feel like inside there's something going on inside. So maybe some of you need to do shadow work or you're doing your shadow work. Or this is a time where a lot of the zodiacs are, I should say the universe, God, source, whatever you want to call it is peeling back the layers of everyone. Like if you're in this if you're in this metaphysical world and you know you believe in mediumship and and talking to the dead and <laughs> which is mediumship or um tarot whatever. If you're in this I feel like you're sh you're shedding, you're coming into your authentic self and I don't think you're I don't, something doesn't feel good. I'm so sorry that I can't explain it. And it's almost like other people are looking at you like, oh, she thinks she perfect or he thinks, like they, they have this perception of you. But other shit is going on, like shit is going on, shit is going on. And I feel like you Virgos are being quiet about it. Which... That, that is y'all. Um, 32 is a five. And I feel like this is yours. Healer. So a lot of you are um, healing. Or a lot of you are healers. In any type of form. Spirit, talk to me for the Virgos. What do you want them to know from... Ooh, boom. Right out. Um, 28. Which is a 10. That means there's some type of completion coming into your life. You can have an air sign in your in your energy, you know, around you, or it could be in your chart. Uh, the air signs is like Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. <clears throat> can I get two more for the Virgos, please? Thank you. And I, I, let me tell you something. Look at that truth which is a seven, 25 is a seven. There is luck on your side because seven is like a lucky number. Um, and it's the truth. And to me, this look, in this deck, there is a feather. I don't know, let me see. There is a feather in this deck. But to me, that looks like a feather. And I feel like that's a sign, some type of sign. I feel like you're getting a lot of signs from your guides, your deceased loved ones. I feel like you're getting a lot of signs. And I do feel like your um, your gifts, your spiritual gifts are heightening. I feel like your third eye um, is opening. I don't know why I want to find this feather and show it to y'all. Anyway, this reminds me of a feather. It says truth. So maybe that could be your truth. You know what I mean? That could be your truth. But Virgos, I, I don't know. I feel like something is real quiet with y'all. Something is laying dormant. Something's in your mind. Something's real quiet. Um, I feel like you're really thinking about it. This could be you finding out the truth. But what I do know is a 25, um, a 25 is a 7, which is luck. You're very protected. But this air sign card is a 10, so something is coming to a completion in your life. Spirit, can I get one more, please, for the Virgos? I got the word apart, so somebody could be apart from their family or from their spouse. Maybe some of you feel like you're quietly coming apart sometimes. This is veiled. And that is a number 11. I like it. I love it. I like it. I love it. Veiled. So, and the bottom of the deck is new life. Number four, protection. I love it. New life, the onk. So there's some pregnancies going on out there. I, 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 
for an instant, I felt like there's some worries. There's some worries about can you get pregnant or why haven't you gotten pregnant? I'm getting some fear of that. Not for everyone. Before you say, I don't want to be pregnant, this is not for everyone. If it resonates, it resonates. 28, let's see. 28. I'm not reading the whole thing, so. Mm -mm. All right. Logic, critical thinking, facts, information, research, and reasoning are required at this time. You may also need more information before proceeding. Drawing this card asks you to call on the element of air to help you in finding healthy resolutions. Meditate with this symbol to call on more of the air element in your life. Enhance logical thought and inspire new ideas. Use incense, channel writing, and journaling to enhance the power of the element. So something's going on. That's definitely telling me like something's going on in your mind. And I feel like it's, you're being hard on yourself, Virgos. I feel like you're, I don't want to say picking yourself apart. Look at that word, apart. I, I, but I feel like you're being really hard on yourself. I feel like a lot of you feel like why my life isn't where it's supposed to be. But this is part of that 8-8 portal. The 8-8 portal just closed on the um, 12th. And I say give it a day or two, 13th. You know, 14th. You know, so it just closed. So that 8-8 portal was a really good, strong portal, but it also was about bringing your emotions up and bringing your trauma, bringing everything up. It's shedding, um, shedding. you're shedding, you're regurgitating. Um, and I feel like you're really in your heads. Um, 25, 25, truth. A great truth will come to light. A secret will be revealed. Your feelings regarding the situation you are asking about are true. Stand by your personal truth no matter what, and you will be rewarded. This is a time to let your authentic self shine. You have much to impress. You have much to express sorry your voice is needed meditate on this when you want more authenticity in your life or want clarity regarding a person or a situation Yeah, let me see. Uh, I don't really have much to say about it. If you resonate with these words, then this message is for you. Um, 38, veiled. <clears throat> All is not being revealed at this time. Is someone around you hiding or holding back information or an aspect of themselves, please use caution in proceeding. Or perhaps the mask is inviting, inviting, or perhaps, perhaps the mask is inviting to you to be more protective of what you share. Draw another card for clarity in your next, in your next right action. You can meditate on the mask you can meditate on the mass to achieve altered states of awareness and encourage hidden abilities to rise to the surface of your consciousness. Mm. All right. <clears throat> Remember how I said 
I feel like people, uh, spirit is giving me the energy, like people looking at you like, oh, like, I don't know why I sound like that. Like, oh, like people looking at you all thinking things are good or perfect or whatever, but they have no idea. And I feel like that's because you wear a really good veil. You wear a really good mask. <clears throat> And you know what, in this world, in this time, in this corporate life, you know what I mean? Sometimes you got to wear a mask. But I feel like Virgos, after a while, that'll start eating away at you. Mm. Keep, keep, keep rising to the top. Mm. Let's do the journey. Because Virgos, I do feel like you want a really, you want a really conscious, thick journey right now. And I feel like it's about self. I do. Spirit, talk to me for the Virgos. They just said clarity, clarity to me right now. So a lot of you are searching for some type of clarity. But I feel like it's within you. I feel like it's deep within you too. I feel like there's trauma um, dormant from your, your childhood. I feel like, you know how they be like, I got Indy in my family. I feel like somebody got Indy in their family. Which could be a lot of you, but I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling like Cherokee. I'm feeling like um, Native American, something like that. Spirit, talk to me. I, I really feel like the, the, the universe is, uh, I feel like you're coming into your consciousness, which is a good thing. But in order to do that, you got to shed the old. You got to get out of this 3D body and you got to move into where the planet is. The planet is shifting. It, the, the planet is already shifted, but you could be, you need to be in the 4D, 5D, 7D right now and you need to get out of this body i know that sounds crazy i don't mean literally get out the body but your mind needs to shift you're it you're stuck in your mind <clears throat> spirit talk to me for the virgos shit i want bet i am not dressed so i hope y'all ain't seen nothing mind your business <laughs> Spirit, what was that? Sacred space. You need a sacred space. You need somewhere to journal, somewhere to pray. And you might have an altar. You might have a space. But you need to, you need to, that's where you need to be, Virgos. Right now, I feel like you need to be in prayer. Um, You need to be sitting with self. You need to be journaling. You need to be doing some shadow work. And you need to be leaning on your faith. Spirit, talk to me. emotions this is what i feel i do feel like y'all are going through it quietly i feel like y'all think you are i, I want to say some of you think like you're by yourself like people won't understand like i feel like y'all are on you like you y'all are really on yourselves i feel like y'all are some of y'all are just tired like like life be life and so I feel like some of y'all are just really tired of the bullshit. I feel like some of y'all feel like things is common sense. Like, it's like you telling someone, this is common sense. Like, come the fuck on. Like, you know what I mean? It's like you frustrated. A lot of you need rest. You need to rest. But I, I'm feeling like this rest means sitting with yourself, regurgitating all of this stuff that's in your mind, that's this self-negative talk that that's going on. Because like I said, y'all, with all of this said, whatever's going on with y'all internally, you do have luck on your side. The universe is definitely protecting you. You know what I mean? I do feel like there's signs all around you, synchronicities, um, different color birds, feathers, 
messages in the clouds. Um, I even feel like human messengers come up and say, you know what, um, God told me to give you this message. I just feel like there's messages all around you, but I feel like almost like I'm covered like you you in quicksand or something and some of you I feel like y'all are trying to rush something you wish you wish something would be like like hurry up hurry up um highest self highest self I'm gonna read that real quick inner child inner child you need to heal some inner child wounds I know that much Especially things things that went on with like growing up with parents and yeah, I'm feeling mm, in highest self. Let's see. Highest I wish it would have said higher self, but I'll take it. Highest self. Your higher self exists outside of time. They are wise, aligned with your path and purpose, always gently supporting you and calling you towards them. They have the answer to your questions and whisper words of guidance and love. Sometimes it's easier to hear that self. Sometimes it's easier to hear that self than others. If you can't get quiet and go inward, you can reach them through creativity, meditation, nature, or simply relaxing with a cup of tea. Your highest self is your guide, mentor, counselor, and is always there for you in times of need or when you're shining your brightest. So again, that... You need to meditate and you need to lean into your faith. You need to be in your prayer. Um, pray every day. You know what I mean? If you read the Bible, you need to be reading your scriptures. You need to take your mind off of you and whatever you think is wrong with you and focus on your inner you. Focus on your higher self. Focus on your achievements. Focus on your goals. Focus on... Um, how great you are, you know what I mean? Focus on your readiness, focus on um, your excellence, you know what I mean? But I can, I can tell you this all day, Virgos, if you don't find excellence in yourself, or if you don't look at your achievements yourself, then I don't know if that's going to help you, because you have to see it, you have to acknowledge it, you have to know that you're better than who you used to be. You know what I'm saying? And even your used to be self was great. You know what I'm saying? But you got to have some compassion for yourself. Bottom of the deck says inner child. I told you that. Um, integrity, courage, abundance. Hey, I love it. And sacred space again. You need a sacred space. Which you probably have. But some of you, this is not for all of you. I feel like some of you use your sacred space for other people. To help other people. To heal other people. To give readings. To, to, to do Reiki. To, you know. And I feel like you need to just sit at your sacred space and work on you. There is some guidance happening. They're telling me guidance. So I know that is the hermit card. So I know that you are being guided. But that doesn't mean it's going to feel good. You know what I'm saying? They're giving me the word treasure. That could be someone's name. But um, they're giving me treasure. I don't know if you are going to find buried treasure. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe treasure is coming to you. Maybe you're the treasure. You're the prize. Spirit, talk to me. Oh, talk to me about um, the Virgos. Nine of Swords. Wow. Let me. I'm gonna put this back because I'm gonna put it back. 
But the Nine of Swords is about worry. It's about being in your head. It's about crying. It's about some type of deep hurt. Um, yeah, y'all. I want y'all to Virgos. Come on now. Y'all too smart for this. You know what I mean? We need y'all, Virgos. Spirit, talk to me about the Virgos. What's, what's in their energy right now? Lack. That's what they just said. Lack. They're giving me the word compelling. This is how I know this is coming from spirit. I don't even, what compelling? Like something is so compelling to you. And it could be the truth. Remember, you got the truth card. Maybe you found out the truth. You know what I mean? Um, visualize. They're saying either you're visualizing something or you need to visualize. That's how you manifest. Spirit, what is in the Virgo's energy right now? I don't know why they're showing me like the cereal Teddy Grahams. So maybe some of you, maybe your name is Teddy. Maybe you eat Teddy Grahams. Maybe you like, uh, like maybe you have a Teddy Bear. Maybe you like Graham crackers or something like that. Eight of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. Eight of Swords is exactly what I'm saying. Eight of Swords is about feeling trapped in your mind, being trapped in your mind. You know what I'm saying? And and Virgos, again, I know I keep repeating myself, but I feel like it's dangerous to be, to not be able to talk to someone about what's going on. I do feel like you should get some therapy if you don't have one already, because some of you already have it. Um, and I need you to talk to the gods, <laughs> talk to the universe. I need you to give source your problems. You know what song I got? Quit. Living off the wall. Oh, that's a Michael Jackson song, and I don't know the words to that. But um, it's off the wall, you know. Living off the wall. So your name could be Michael, or you know a Michael. Or a Jackson, like your last name is Jackson. Your first name could be Jackson. I don't know. Catherine, I'm getting a Catherine, but that was Michael Jackson's mother. Or is, I don't know if she's still alive, but Catherine I'm getting. Spirit, talk to me about the Virgo energy, please. Thank you. The Hierophant, you're very protected. Source, God, he, uh, you you good. Virgos, y'all are good. Y'all don't know it. But again, I feel like, I feel a little, I'm not going to lie, I feel a little bit of depression going on. A little bit of mental health issues. And there's all right, because everybody got mental health issues. Um... But it's about what you what what you do about it. You know what I mean? Um, but with the Hierophant, the Hierophant card is a very spiritual card. You're being watched over. You're very protected. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this period in time, you're supposed to be shedding and going through this. But again, it's not going to feel good. But you got to know, like, this is a part of the process. Life be lifing. Okay, the Hierophant card is also about a marriage, so there could be something going on in a marriage. And when I say marriage, it could be a long term, like you could have been dating a person for a very long time, so it feels like a marriage or something like that. But something could be going on in the marriage. I feel like I'm, I'm just giving you the energy, y'all. Some I feel like somebody's in denial about something. The Eight of Swords is about being trapped in the head. And the Hierophant card is either about marriage or it's about um, spirituality. But for some reason, I feel denial off these cards. The Hierophant card is also about facility or structure, like going back to school or being a student um, of some sort, of some sort. You gotta get out your head, Virgo. You gotta get out your head. I 
I'm getting a leak. So you might either have a leak in your home or in your car. Your faucet. <laughs> but I'm getting some type of leak. <clears throat> The lover's card. The lover's card is about making a choice. You can stay where you are and you can, I want to say the word panic, so I think some of you are quietly panicking. Um, or you can stay, or you can choose you. You can choose you. And I'm not saying to walk away from anything, but you can choose you first. You can, you can say, you know what, I'm putting these burdens and these issues down and I'm just going to choose me. I'm a love on me. The lover's card is about a choice, plain and simple. You going left or you going right? You saying or you coming? Spirit, talk to me. The four of swords. Again, this is a rest card. You need to rest. You need to not just lay down. Some of you are having terrible sleep. Some of you are not sleeping. Some of you take like... Um, I don't know why I want to say Ambien. Is Ambien a drug? that Like a sleep drug? But... Um, I think it is. I think, I think it is. Um, but some of you are not sleeping well. Some of you are having some weird dreams, but that's happening throughout all the Zodiacs, dreaming and your gifts coming like to the forefront. That, that's another reason why y'all are probably in your heads or you're shedding or you're not feeling very well and headaches. I'm getting headaches. That's another reason why I'm feeling that way because when your gifts come out, your abilities, your your God-given gifts, mm, it, it's just, mm, I don't even know what to say. It's just, mm. I'm getting the name Henry. And remember, y'all, don't go against the energy. And when I mean against the energy, don't, like, bang your head like, oh, my God, like, ugh, why, and why am I like this? Or why is things moving so slow? Or... Like don't get on, don't go against the energy. Just flow with it. When it comes, let it pass you, and let, and keep it moving. You know, let the thought pass and keep it moving. Stay in a very grateful mode of waking up every day. Got a job to go to, uh, a roof over your head, and if you don't have any of any of that, if you're looking at this video, that means your eyes are open. Be be grateful for the, all the little things. Okay, the four of swords is about recharging like you need a vacation. You need to recharge Like go, go back to the drawing board like recharge so You might have to look over something too like over you might have to look over paperwork And you some of you are second-guessing I want to say second-guessing yourself. Maybe some of you stutter or have a lisp I'm getting the name Lisa And listen, y'all, I'm telling everybody, if y'all know my story, I'm going through that whole perimenopause thing. This shit is not easy. So I feel like there's a chemical imbalance that's off a little bit with you. And they're giving me like your pH balance could be off a little bit. Um, so just make sure you go to the doctor. Make sure you check that out because they, they are, they're not giving me a smell, but it's like, I want to smell an odor. So there could be some type of smell. So just, and that's not for everyone. I'm not trying to play nobody. I'm just giving you the energy that I get. Okay. The nine of swords, the king of swords, I'm sorry. And the page of swords. Well, the page of swords is about um, learning. It's about getting wisdom from a wise person. Um, it's about going to school, being a trainee, being a student. Again, just like the Hierophant card. Um, the pay, my page of swords is also my social media card. So don't be looking on nobody else's social media if you're looking for the truth or if you are conflicted or something. Or maybe you need to detox from social media. Maybe you need to put the phone and all of that shit down for like a week. Or a day. Start with 24 hours. Why don't you just start with one hour? Like, can you put it down for one hour? <clears throat> uh, 
again off this page of swords i get a i get a lot of self talk like a lot of self talk you got to be strong you have to be strong virgos y'all are strong but you got to be spiritually strong you got to be strong within self getting information i'm getting right now um the king of swords is somebody who communicates well their throat chakra is not blocked but maybe yours is maybe something's going on with your throat chakra maybe you're not saying what you should be saying maybe you're not getting help the way you need to get help maybe you're not leaning on your person or leaning on source or leaning on your faith something is blocking you something within you is blocking you I feel like a loss of a job. Look at that. Didn't I say the hermit card? I, I just said that. Before I picked up this deck, I said I'm feeling like you're being guided. So that is the hermit card. But the hermit card is also about introspection. I feel like a lot of you are doing introspection. You're going within. You're asking yourself why. You want to know where you're going, where you're at. You want to know... Virgos, I feel you're thinking too far ahead instead of thinking right now in the present. Justice. Justice. Everything's going to go in your favor. It may, not, it may not seem like that right now, but everything will go in your favor. And if this is a... Um, if this is a court case or a legal battle in any type of legal, that could be a, a traffic ticket. It could be... Um, um, it could be from the smallest thing to the biggest thing. I feel like something is taking a long time if it's a legal matter, like it's being dragged out, but I still feel like it's going to go in your favor. Even if you have to pay a hefty fine or something like that, I still feel like it's um, going in your favor. And watch out for, and, and see how I said a traffic ticket? I feel like, I want you to slow down. Slow down. Some of y'all are speed demons on the road. So I feel like a traffic ticket might be coming your way. But if, you look in, if you're listening to this video, then it shouldn't come your way. It should totally miss you if you're watching this video. Okay? Some of you could be in law enforcement. This is why I'm talking about like legal battles or traffic tickets because some of you could be in law enforcement. Some of you want to do your own thing. Some of you want to like not work for, for your job and you want to be an entrepreneur, but what's stopping you? Low self-esteem, thinking you can't do it, not making a decision, not picking a choice, not going back to school, not doing the research, not feeling lucky, being trapped in your mind. Because the question is, is why, why can't you do create your own business? Why can't you start very slowly and create your own business, no matter what it is? I feel contractors, so some of you are co medical contractors or just contractors in general. Some of you work for um, like a daycare. Somebody, a few of you names start with a T. I'm getting like Taryn, like T-A-R-R-A-N or O-N. Tarin or something like that. And just now I got again legal battles. It's moving slow for you. It's moving slow. You 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 don't know what's going on. That's not for everyone. Whoever's going through legal battles. Spirit talk to me. Somebody's trying to keep a house. The fool card. Spirit is saying take a leap of faith on yourself. You can open up that business. You don't got to worry about no legal battles. You don't got to be trapped in your head. 
You can listen to these wise people giving you advice. You can listen to this tarot reading. And you could just put it in the back of your pocket and take from it. P pick it apart and see what you could take and see what you don't need to take. You could get off of yourself, though. I feel I really feel like you need to get off of you. I feel like you're on your own neck right now. Like you're being too hard on yourself. Kinsey, I'm getting Kinsey. Donovan, I don't want to spirit. I don't want to start with all of these names. I'm getting some type of surgery. And you could have had the surgery in the past, but like I'm getting or surgery coming up. It doesn't matter. Just because spirit gave me surgery, that means some of these messages are for you. Spirit, talk to me for the Virgos. What else is in their energy? We are on 40 minutes. Oh, my gosh. What else is here for the Virgos? Two more for the Virgos, please. There's trust issues going on, too. Um, Seven of Pentacles is reevaluating. Um observation really looking at it and looking at things moving things around um which is smart everybody should observate everybody should readjust everybody should go back to the drawing board everybody should go to their bank account and say you know what i'm gonna put this money here and put that money there i'm gonna save for this i'm gonna do that there's nothing with um there's nothing wrong with readjusting um dad but i was saying something I was saying something and it slipped. Spirit, talk to me. I'm feeling like I'm getting memory loss. So somebody in your family had memory loss. That could be like Alzheimer's or dementia. God forbid, but that is that is what I'm getting. I'm even seeing like a hearing aid. Uh, five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is health. And we just talking about health. Five of Pentacles, please check on your health. If you could go the holistic route and do drink more teas, all different type of teas and things like that. And like when I looked up, I know that my guide is standing over my shoulder or in, over there somewhere. But they're giving me the energy, you too. Like your guides are with you too. Your deceased loved ones are with you too. They really are. I'm getting either like apple pie or cherry pie right now. Sandra, I'm getting maybe Sandra is a name. Five of Pentacles is you focusing on your weak weaknesses, what you can't do. I don't know if I could do this. This is hard. I give up, and Virgos don't give up, so I take that back. But I'm getting that energy of like down on yourself. You need to close your eyes, meditate, rest, recharge, come back stronger and better. I want you to prepare right now for the rest of 2024 so your 25 could be great, Virgos. Somebody's like writing a paper so you could be in school. Somebody needs to write a paper or something like that. Or study, something about studying. Or maybe a test is coming up. Two of Pentacles, that's a lot on your plate. You juggling, you doing a lot. And I feel like you doing it... You're doing so much. Maybe for everyone else, you're keeping up this front. You have a mask on, like, ha, 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 ha. But some, some of you feel like you either going crazy or you dying inside. You got to put some of, this, some of this shit down. You do. You do. And any two card means, again, you got to make a decision. What do you want? How do you want to um, course correct? How do you want to make your life better? Like, like you, you gotta make, you gotta sit, you gotta sit, you gotta talk to yourself, but gotta, but you gotta talk the right way. Some of you are creating a journal or writing in your journal. I see prompts and things like that. So maybe you're going through a course, like a spiritual course, or creating your own course, or thinking about it. A sleep journal they're giving me a sleep. Maybe some of you need a sleep journal, sleep apnea. Some of you have. I don't, I don't know why I want to say lack of oxygen to your brain. Or maybe you know somebody got lack of oxygen to the brain. 
the world card this is a new chapter coming for you but virgos i feel like this might be in two months two or three months this might be at the top of the year, but I feel like something new, a new chapter's coming to you. Freedom. Freedom. I got that. I heard that loud and clear just now. Free. I feel like freedom. I feel like some of you should write a book. Some of you should just be writing. Write a letter to someone, anyone. Queen of Pentacles. That This means you sturdy, stable, and you probably, your bills are probably paid. You probably are right, but you could probably get better. You probably want more. Um, but, but when you tell the universe, I want, I need, I want, they know that you are lacking of, so you need to just be like, I got a dollar and I'm grateful for it. I got a penny and I know where it's at. Uh, I got a dollar and I'm grateful for it. I got a penny and I know where it's at. Where it's at. I'm sorry. I think I'm a rapper, but you know what I'm saying? Stay, stay in gratitude mode, y'all. Some of you like Grey's Anatomy. I just saw that show in my head, Grey's Anatomy. Or some of you could work in the medical field. 45 minutes on the clock. All right, Spirit, can you give the Virgos advice? I can't. Um, I don't want this video to be an hour. What is the advice for stay on the path? They just said stay on the path. Spirit, talk to me. Give them advice, please. There is a marriage too. I'm just here. I'm hearing that Luther Vandross song. And like I said, if it's not a marriage, it's a very long-term relationship. And I'm hearing that slow marriage song. Um, two of Cups, and look at that. This is a relationship. Now, this could be... this. Two of Cups is, first of all, this is a decision you got to make. Do you want to stay? Do you want to go? Um... The Two of Cups is about a good relationship. Two people coming together, seeing eye and eye, loving, leveling up each other, loving on each other. Um, arguing and making up, I'm getting that too. You know what I mean? But this could also be a business deal so, or someone um, really like saying, I like what you do. Like, I like what you do. You're great at what you do. Let's go to dinner. Let's sign some contract. Let's negotiate. Someone who is bigging you up for your greatness. I love it. And there could be some type of celebration. I feel it's coming up of some type of celebration. So maybe, and then maybe you know, I don't know why April 25th, which is gone, it's gone, but like April, April is past, but April 25th, the chariot, that means momentum. This means you're going to make a decision soon. Something, it could be about travel. I don't, I'm getting travel too something about a destination it could be a destination wedding i don't know but um when you make a decision a something about your life something crucial and that could be like going back to school that could be staying in this marriage staying in this relationship that could be like speaking up creating boundaries whatever it is things are going to go start going super fast for you super great for you The death card, I told you, things are changing. The death card is a great card. But didn't I say peeling back, shedding, regurgitating? The death card is about shedding the old and coming into something new. And that's what they, they, they want you. The advice here is it's going to be a bumpy ride. But as soon as you make some hardcore decisions, things are going to go in your favor. And it's going to go really quickly. I feel greatness coming to you or something good coming to you in two or three months. Um, I feel like you are shedding. You're coming into a new you, like a new person. Cherry. Didn't I say something about cherry pie, but I'm getting cherry. Six of Swords is coming into calmer waters. Like you was, it, shit was really crazy. A month ago or for the last 30 days or whenever and things are going to start getting better for you things are going to start being calm for you spirit got your back i'm telling you god got your back source got your back the universe got your back what else do you want them to know for advice seven of swords seven of swords is you you're creating a strategy you're, you're creating some type of plan, some type of strategy. 
The Seven of Swords is about some type of deceit in your life. Somebody could be lying to you, stealing, somebody's conniving, you know, on one hand. But I'm not getting that. I do, I am getting that you're trying to make a plan for your future. I do feel like you are... You're making a plan for your future. That's the best I can say. The moon card, but I do feel like there's fear here somewhere. Now, the moon card is about your magic, on the other hand, y'all. If you are using your magic, um, your your gifts are intensifying. Like, your third eye is opening. Um, your, your, your meditations, your feeling tingles and vibrations and things are getting better. You are probably confused and don't really know what's going on. Um, and Virgos, some of y'all could be skeptics, like, uh, <laughs> you know, you want to see it now, you know what I'm saying? But it's coming. Whatever you need is coming your way, but it's going to be a bumpy ride is what I want to tell you. And I want to say something to you about gossip, but I, again, I feel like there's chatter in your own mind. It's like you gossiping about you. But I'm sure there's gossip around you. There's gossip around everybody, you know. You might wear red lipstick. And I want to say you're beautiful. I, I want to say you're beautiful. But I don't know if you see that. You, you might. Some of you might. And look what's at the bottom. Look. Oh, my God. I just now said I want to say you're beautiful. And then the Empress card. The Empress is about being... The Empress card is not about being beautiful, but the Empress is beautiful. The Empress, she has everything she desires because she manifested. She has everything she desired because she went through the bullshit and she she learned her magic. You know, she learned her energy, her strengths. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, things are going to get better for you, Virgos. I'm telling you, if you're not in a good space right now, especially with sickness, like not sleeping, stomach ache, headaches, things like that, cramping, sensation, things like that. Um, I don't know why I want to say breast cancer. Maybe you there was a scare of breast cancer or maybe it runs in your family or something. I do want to tell you things are going to get better. You have to give it time. You got to be patient with yourself. You got to be easy with yourself. You need more compassion with yourself. You know what I mean? Um, and you need to start making some heavy decisions. Not about your relationship. It's about you and what you want. And your happiness and where it lies and your purpose. Nine of Wands. Spirit is saying be resilient. Don't give up. Keep pushing through. Don't give in e either. I don't, Virgos, I don't know you to give in. You know what I mean? But I do know y'all to be tunnel vision. And I, I do know y'all to be focused on, like, on your work and organized and shit like that. But I feel like that's just a distraction. You know what I mean? You need to go within. You need to go within and work with this trauma. You need some therapy. Seven of Wands is standing your ground, standing, creating boundaries, standing your ground, saying stop. You see that hand? Stop. Philip, I'm getting a Philip. Phil Collins, that's a singer. That, that was a singer, Phil Collins. Let me get you some angel numbers. I feel like I always use the same decks. I want to use different decks. But it, the shit always ends up being an hour. Spirit, talk to me for the Virgos. Revisit something. Bottom of the deck. Revisit. Go back. Remember, look at the fine print, y'all. I am getting gardening or something like that. I'm getting a Sean. This is when the message is coming quickly because I have to end this reading. Spirit, give me something. They're giving me a light bulb, like, boom, like you thought of something, like, oh, shit. Um, what is that? That's like, um, I know, that's a card, I feel like. Spirit, um, a Ford, you might have a Ford car. I don't know why they're giving me that. <laughs> 
You might love Taylor Swift. Don't she have an album called like 1989 or something? You might love Taylor Swift or your name might be Taylor. Eight oh eight security. I love it. That is the Queen of Pentacles. Eight oh eight. That's one of my favorite, favorite luckiest numbers. Eight oh eight security. You might be security guard. You might be security yourself. You know what I'm saying? Security. That's what you. That's what you want. I feel like some of you want security in your life. Some type of some something's lacking with security here. I feel. Spirit, talk to me, Virgos. Virgo energy, please. I'm smelling like bourbon or vodka or that. It, somebody could have been an alcoholic or maybe you drink a lot or something. Take a break. Take a break from that if you do. I can't make this up. <laughs> I can't. Thank you, Spirit. I love you so much. You, I love y'all entirely, entirely a lot. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. One more, please, for the Virgos. Please, for the Virgos. <laughs> Virgos. Oh, eight, eight. Reward. Reward yourself. Eighty-eight. And I just talked about the eight, eight, eight portal. Eighty-eight is about rewarding yourself. Rewards is coming your way. Remember, I talked about your achievements and things like that. Reward. I told you something good is coming towards you, Virgos. It might take a month or two. You know what I mean? It might be at the top of the year. You know what I mean? Because I feel like y'all need to get yourselves together. I, and I'm feeling moving again, um, Cincinnati. But I'm. it don't have to be Cincinnati, but I'm getting like a big move. That's so crazy. The eight, um, all of these numbers is crazy. Optimism. Be op optimistic. Okay? 5151. 51. Be optimistic. Know that good things are coming your way. Okay? 44. Stability. Look at that. S security and stability. 44. Four might be your number. Four is about protection. I love it. Bottom of the deck is 1144. Leveling up. I told you it's coming. It's coming. Promotions, raises, um, new ideas, creativity, writing, books, journaling. I love it. It all is coming to you. But I do think you. It, this is a time for y'all to shed whatever's cramping you, whatever's whatever. You know what I mean? I feel like a miscarriage or a abortion or something. I feel like little babies above me. So just remember, just remember they're with you. They are with you. I am getting some type of guilt, but I feel like it was in the past, some type of guilt. I'm getting that song, I'm a little teapot, short and spout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. Then I don't know. Maybe you have kids, I don't know. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, Virgos, it's going to be okay. I want you to stay positive. I want you to write. I want you to manifest. I want you to get these negative thoughts out your head. I want you to decide what you want to do when it comes to a relationship. I want you to decide what you want to do with your stability. Um, I want you to be okay with where you at and think about the moment, okay? I love you. If you want to hit me up, you can hit me up at moondanny1976 at gmail.com. But you have to leave in the comments like email. Cause I don't really check that email, so please leave in the comments emailed, okay? Um, and shine bright, Virgo, shine bright, shine bright. I love you, Danny Moon. I'm out.